Hello everyone, it's Jenny. I am here to play The Last Door. It's the Collector's Edition. I recently got this um, on Steam. It's on sale, so why not? Anyways, I've been really busy rearranging my room and painting, so I've been kind of figuring out what I would record next, and The Last Door seemed like it was good. Plus, I also got, I can't believe I'm going to say this, I got the, um, the new Amnesia game. It was on sale for six dollars. Uh, the Machine for Pigs, I think it's called. Um, I already watched the videos for that game, to be completely honest, but, yeah. Wasn't that impressed, but I'm still probably going to play it or do a highlight of it. So, let's see. After all the things I've seen... Oh, wait a minute. This is not good. After all the things I have done. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. No, this is not good. Now I am beyond redemption. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely. Anthony Beechwood. Yes, I decided to go ahead with the uh, subtitles. The Last Door. This is chapter one called The Letter. Um, I actually watched Cinnamon Toast Ken play this, so I've mostly forgotten what you're supposed to do. I just know that it's a point and click horror game. Um, I'm gonna try and get this done as soon as humanly possible. For some reason I enjoyed watching it, so... Thank you Cinnamon Toast Kin for, you know, posting it on YouTube, for one. And two, you know, giving me the idea to go ahead with it on my own channel. Because why not? Different perspectives show different, you know, perspectives. And... Just why the hell not? It seems like a good game to play, and... It's about up my alley, because I've already finished Eve. Let's see, October 1891. Fidette, la cuisse, I know that's French, as far as I know. That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Beechwood, had written in his letter. It had been many years since I've I had heard that sentence. Ah, I cannot speak to that I swear to God. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back we were, when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. What letter was unusual? It can only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. I would put this in a, fr a frickin' English accent, but I just don't feel like it right now. I've been kinda in and out of, you know, sickness and... Just blah. Alright, and there it was. The old house of Anthony's family. The Beechworth Manor. Yes, I have to be a little bit dramatic. It wouldn't be right without the dramatics. Episode 1. The Letter. <coughs> this is strange. Everything is silent. As if there was no one living here. 
I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Alright, so... A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us and, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Interesting. Grandfather clock is the only sound around here, aside from the wind you jack at. This is Anthony. The years have not been kind to him. Close door. The door is stuck. It won't open. It is too dark. Can't go any further. Well then I guess we're gonna have to go back down the stairs, won't we? Dang it. That just unsettles me <laughs> entirely. <laughs> A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. A cabinet with glasses and some weapon bottles. There's also a matchbox. With the matchbox. These matches could come in useful. Come in handy. Ayy. A fireplace. It looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. Yeah. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dust air in. Yeah. Over here. Okay, so there's something over here. A plate with some days leftovers. That's strange. A kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Never know when you're gonna need a cleaning cloth. And that pretty much just said that. It might come in handy. I'll take it. Kitchen stove. Okay. Plates and pans. See if there's anything in this. Okay, I've unlatched the door. A variety of herbs and things. The murder of crows is eating eagerly. There's so many birds and I cannot see their prey from here. That's actually quite disturbing. Village band, judging by the foul odor. Odor. Ah, again, I can't speak. Our train has not been empty in a fortnight. Okay. So let's. let's see. A rainy mountain landscape. This portrait is crooked. Oh, okay, what? An old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. That's a little... creepy. This painting depicts a deep dark forest. Okay. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Okay. A lamp. Yes! Ooh. There's a discoloration on the wall that should be across. As if one had hung there for so many years and had recently been removed. Nope, that won't work. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. 
May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about a life. Oh, ah, about Alfie. Sorry. Reading. Not Alfie. About Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891 Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Hmm. Not An empty bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. Hmm. Interesting. Closed. Door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. Um, yeah. Alrighty. So... What happened? I've already read that. We're getting... <laughs> So that. All right. So the story has been boarded up. Yeah, I see that. <sighs> this area creeps me out. To be completely honest. The silver key. A double bed for the accumulated dust. I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. Our place is black with soot. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. This window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent Yeah. Small photographs and old. Bigger old types. I cannot even pronounce that correctly. Mostly family portraits. Well, that was useless. Mostly. Like <laughs> from the inside. It's free out of this area. This is creeping me out. Seriously. some of this out. Goodness. I think I'm getting used moves. I'm not sure. Oh good. It's good, good. Okay. This is creepy. I think this is a slight disc record. The slave reads The Carnival of Venice. Uh pick it. It's God knows you might need it. A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Need it. Small pile of firewood. Twigs, chunks of dried bark. Already read that. The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Okay. And it's just a tiny bit laggy. I think I might miss you. Oh, 
Hello everyone. Um the game quit out on me. I apologize for that. Um I know I said hello everyone, I meant to say that I'm back. It just didn't click in my mind to do so. Because I can, you know, be a little crazy, if you will. Um So I just got, you know, the crowbar and the thing for it. The recording is of sound or music can be played if an ingrained cylinder or this is inserted, but I see more such object in this device. Well, lucky for you, I found one. It must be broken. I do not know how to make it stop. Oh god. The music is abruptly stopped. Um. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Uh. I have no idea what to say to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have a crowbar, and we're going to get this thing open. Um, I never thought I'd be creeped out by crows. <laughs> oh, my god. My god, what has happened here? An old wheelchair. The lifeless body of a woman, and has been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger, with a look bereft of all insanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our soul. That's creepy. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon. I will stop trembling. Oh, what? A simple long hair pin. Blank. Okay, nothing of interest. He says, leave me alone. The writing on the wall reads, leave me alone, which I just said. Who would have written such a thing? <laughs> the portrait of Anthony standing behind a mounted wild cat or lynx. The paint looks fresher than the animal around the animal's head. Man with blonde hair. I feel as if I've seen him before. This young woman, not yet in her twenties, stares defiantly back at me. That's creepy. This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe and stubborn gaze. She looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? A woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. Young Anthony, just like I remember him. There's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Um. Nope, that won't work. Maybe I missed something in there. Did I miss anything? I've already read that. I don't want to hear any more ominous or horror music. To be completely honest. Okay. Look from the inside. I wonder if this could help. I can't force a lock on it. Okay. <sighs> that 
And I might say that I'm quite unsettled. <laughs> Maybe this one. I can't go slow. Yeah, what the hell? What am I supposed to do with this? That is so painful. Oh, uh, a dying crow, not much life left. Okay, what the hell did I use that for? Seriously. Shut up, bro. I know you're dying, but I'd still rather you just play it. But this is not it. Shut up, bro. But that's... Okay. Ugh, I got lost already. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, so... Again, that happened. Shut up, bro. Um, I have a feeling that the game might quit out soon, so I'm probably going to end it soon. Shut up, bro. Um, so far, I found some stuff, and I've done some stuff. Shut up, bro. So that's good. Um, this might be it. Yep, this is it. Shut up, bro. Alright. Shut up, Crow. Okay. So that happened. Okay, that is very ominous music. Um, something I'm not thinking about. Let's see, the curtains are drawn. I don't know why. Um. That's just absolutely creepy. Okay. So the crow is there. I have laid the crow in the bowl. The window is so dirty that I can barely see through the outside. To the outside. Oh. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out when I'm supposed to hear anything or whatever. You know, like the cat. From what I I partially remember was something is supposed to happen. Hmm. Okay. So that happened. Maybe there is nothing down here that I can use. So, I'm just waiting for the cat to eat that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end it here in a second. Because, why not? Let's see. I'm not really hearing much else around this place, but... I hope you guys have enjoyed The Last Door Part 1, or Chapter 1, The Letters. Um, I apologize that I've not found enough, but as far as I can tell, that's about it for right now until I can, you know, figure something out. Anyways. I want to check this room again. I have a bad feeling about it. A letter and people handwriting. Oh, I'm lost. How did I miss this? 
with a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family, but who are they to bust them into? Yeah, but who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. That's a little melodramatic, but okay. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper, angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed, and not even the doctor will come here. After his argument with Anthony, my husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechwood. Thanks. I don't know what to say. That's creepy, and I think I'm done checking through most of these rooms. Doesn't look like there's any sign of anything really. That music is not helping at all. Alright, so we pretty much got, oh, I'd say about a quarter to a halfway through this already. I'm not sure. Really. I don't want to find out at the moment, so people are actually kind of dead. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, if you can, and don't forget to check out and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I always follow people back, because you guys are awesome, anyone who decides to watch my videos, and if they comment, I'd comment back as often as I possibly can, um, I love you guys, thank you so much as well for, you know, subscribing and keeping up with things and tolerating my absence. Because <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. I've been very, very busy. Um, I have some stuff going on next weekend, so I'm trying to get as many recordings done as possible. And, yeah. Anyways, I might be playing uh, Machine for Pigs at some point. I might just go through that and record a little bit each time or whatever, or, you know, trim through or something. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that. Anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said already. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. But yeah. Till next time, guys. Bye!